Praise be to Jesus. Word of God for today. From St. Luke chapter 1, verse 26 to 38. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greetings this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you found favor with God. Mary, on this sweet name, I think we will dwell upon today. One who was conceived immaculate, her whole being, being an eternal magnificent before the world. One who knew no sin. The one who is compared to the lily of Lebanon. Mary was deeply disturbed by the words of the ancient, thinking what this greeting could mean. A maiden from the highland, not influenced by the sophisticated city life. One who contemplated Torah all through the waking hours, whose dreams being very minimal. And perturbed was she until this strange greeting struck her unexpectedly. Her upbringing, strictly under the law, made her dream dreams confined to the four walls of a little cottage in the beauty of the far club village. Yahweh in his eternal plan so well executed his dream project that he had to come to her door which stood ajar. The angel's greeting could mean a lot. Rejoice, you who enjoy God's favor. May he lost even her utterance before the blunt words uttered by the messenger. In her utter perplexity, she just pauses a few words for clarity and thereafter remained dumbfounded listening to the complete plan. Don't be afraid. You have found God's favor. You are to conceive and bear a son. Name him Jesus. The projected plan is unveiled to Mary. The angel tells, don't be afraid. Yahweh knows you are young. Your fears are not unknown to him. Don't be afraid. Yahweh has dreamed of you eternally. Don't be afraid. Yahweh in his own way will work out. Don't be afraid. You are the ark of God under his shadow you will be, whom heaven and earth cannot contain. Mary, a gem of a person that she is, on this solemnity of immaculate conception, we may take a few moments out to contemplate her silence, her presence of mind, her attitude, her incomparable faith, her availability, her state of grace, 
let us be clinging to this affectionate mother of ours. So, she is the lone star who could possibly assist us in wading through this troubled time that we are in. Amen. I wish you everyone a very happy feast of imagined conception of many companies.